the USS Gerald Ford is set to be deployed sometime in 2016 the USS Gerald Ford will also be accompanied by a carrier fleet the purpose of the USS Gerald Ford is to relieve stress and over deployment within the US Navy there are currently 10 carriers but the Navy feels another carrier is needed to relieve the stress that comes with deployment not only with the troops but also with the machinery when they were designing the Ford class carriers they knew they had to make some changes the new Ford class carriers will generate three times more electrical power than the old carriers with the changes that were made to the Ford class carriers they'll be able to use a new electrical power supply called electromagnetic aircraft launch systems EMALS this will allow each vessel to launch 25% more aircraft per day that's a huge increase because of the electricity that will now be found on board the Ford class carriers these carriers will be ideal when it comes to field laser and directed energy weapons some of these weapons will include railgun and missile interceptors the USS Gerald Ford will be 1092 feet long that's a fifth of a mile long because of its size it'll be able to hold a lot of staff and also have a lot more aircrafts to be exact it'll hold approximately 4,400 people and 75 aircrafts the aircraft that the USS Gerald Ford will carry will be f-35 s and once available it will also hold carrier based drone aircraft even though the Ford class carriers will be unlike anything that's ever been used or seen before some people are questioning the cost and motives behind the carriers the reason behind the questioning is that some countries like China are currently developing carrier killing long-range anti-ship cruise missiles